Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. I have a little baby boy called George who is now five months old, which is insane. And in today's video, I wanted to do a list of all of the things that were used between three to four months that were absolute essentials. And I know normally it's like three to six months, those essentials, but I feel like I've used so many new things since being newborn in those two months that I really wanted to share with you guys and if you are new then I did do a newborn video that I will link here and I will link it down below as well so definitely check that out if you are pregnant that's probably the things that you want to focus on the most but this is still relevant because I didn't realise how different things would be from newborn to three to four months because it doesn't sound like a big difference three months is like not a massive difference but oh my gosh in terms of development what they need the things they want to entertain themselves how they're sort of moving around and things like that maybe not moving yet but you know what I mean is so so different and all of the things I'm going to mention today will be linked below if you just want to check any of them out most of the stuff I got on Amazon I'm not going to lie so super super easy to get delivered and everything like that which is what I need right now I also wanted to let you guys know that some of the stuff that was mentioned in my newborn video and some of the things that I mentioned in this video are actually included in my 20k giveaway on Instagram so if you haven't followed me on Instagram definitely check out my Instagram page definitely give me a follow definitely check out the giveaway and enter because a lot of the stuff on there especially some of the really really exciting things are actually included in that giveaway so definitely check that out and let's get into the video obviously these essentials are going to be different for every single baby every single mum every single dad every single lifestyle but for me these were absolutely my essentials firstly and i spoke about this so many times instagram youtube you name it and it is our play mat i love it this is called the globe trotter totter and tumble play mat so it's from totter and tumble i am obsessed with it one because it looks gorgeous two because it's such high quality and three because we have dog and a cat we have a dog and a cat and we've got carpet in our living room the play mat was essential for me because otherwise george would just be all over the hairy carpet as much as you hoover and things if you've got animals you understand it's always covered in hair so the play mat for me was absolutely essential i needed a play mat that play mat is like luxury it's so so soft i sit on there way more than i sit on the sofa myself i love it it is pricey but oh my god so so worth it in my opinion definitely a mine must have one of the best things i've bought since george was about three to four months next up is our baby snug and activity tray and this is like the mamas and papas version of a bumbo if you guys heard of the bumbo but actually the legs are slightly wider than the bumbo so it will fit bigger babies and you can actually take the insert out so that it will grow with your baby so we actually got this from a member of family for george for christmas and he was about three and a half months at christmas so he had it then but once his head control was there once he was really stable sitting up he's now grabbing all of the activity center and everything he absolutely loves it and this is definitely something that's going to grow with him so we got it when he was three to four months but actually we know that he's going to be using it until at least six months because of how much he absolutely loves it and if you've seen my vlogs i pop george in there when i'm making his bottle and he is absolutely happy as larry <laughs> i'm gonna rattle through the next few ones and that's because i've mentioned them in my last video which was all about teething products and things that we're using and stuff because a lot of it is based around teething because for us three to four months is when teething hit but these are definite essentials for us and i just said rattle through because the first one is a rattle it doesn't have to be this rattle it can be any like, rattle i'll link a few down below but basically a lightweight rattle that has has something inside and also if it has teethers on it that's even better because they can put in their mouth soothe some of their teething and learn that cause and effect where if they move their arm or their hand then something will make a noise the next few ones I'm just gonna put on the screen now so it's a matchstick monkey a nubby glove nubby teething ring and teething powder if you want to hear me talk about those products in more detail check out my last video which was all about teething products that we've been testing and stuff I talk about all of the things and all the reasons I love them all but I've popped them up on the screen and i've linked them down below they are for me what has got us through this stage of teething 100 next on my list is a blackout blind and you can get any kind of blackout blind i guess but the one that we got is actually a portable blackout blind and the reason we got that is because we knew that we were moving when george was very very little so we got the blackout blind so that we could just pop it up with the suction cups all around and then we could move to our new house and then just pop it up in his room and that's exactly what we did and we haven't looked back it's so easy it's massive but you can make it really small if it's literally any window and i genuinely believe that it's helped george through those day naps 1000 percent because it's kept the room 
pitch black and I mean like when I walk in I can't see anything that's how dark it is in the room so I just think a blackout blind full stop but the one that we've got I think is from the grow company which is again I'll link it down below it's just so good it just fits any window and I think it's like 20 to 30 pounds and I just think it can fit any window you can put it anywhere when we get to go traveling again you can use it wherever you go I just think it's perfect on the subject of sleep a transitional swaddle for us was 100% essential because George was swaddled from birth pretty much and I was so nervous about going into a sleeping bag but the transitional swaddle from Lutter Dream which is the one that we've got was a dream the reason that we absolutely love it was because you can have one arm in and one arm out that way it's safe when he has got to the point where he can start to roll and things which is obviously at the stage three to four months roughly where that starts to happen he still can't master rolling but you never know he might master it in his sleep and that would be really dangerous so a transitional swaddle for us was essential he could have one arm in so he was still nice and snug and then he could have one arm out and it was like a smooth transition into having just the sleeping bag which is now what he's in so he's just in the sleeping bag now which is i can't believe it he's gone from swaddling to not swaddling without too much of a stress I mean he did have a bit of a wobble but I don't think it was down to the swallow I think it was probably down to the, all the other things that's been going on with him recently but I would 100% recommend a transitional swaddle for your little one if they're like three to four months or starting to roll that's yeah 100% ow <sighs> Still on sleep and I wanted to talk to you guys about my baby monitor. So the baby monitor we have is the BT Smart Baby Monitor. And the reason it's smart is because it can connect to your phone over Wi-Fi. You can be anywhere in the world as long as you've got Wi-Fi connection or some sort of signal. You can connect to the monitor. So I just think it's such a good idea seeing him on my phone, getting an alert on my phone, as well as having the baby monitor in the kitchen where you can hear it constantly anyway. I just think it's such a great idea. To me it was like the best baby monitor I came across when researching and I think it won like loads of awards in 2020 as well so for me i was just like it's won loads of awards mums think it's great i'm gonna get it and it has not disappointed me another thing for this age is definitely bibs because beforehand in the newborn stage we were just kind of using muslins to like dab him he wasn't really like getting that messy but when he's eating now and also when he's like just rolling and teething and things like that bibs have been essential to just like mop up any of the stuff so yeah he's been wearing a lot more bibs no particular bibs we've just used like bibs that we got with outfits and things like that but yeah bibs 100% guys for this period the drool is real the drool is real that's what I'm saying <laughs> Talking of feeding, I didn't even realise this was a thing, but different size bottle teats for different flows, which totally makes sense to me, but I didn't know it was a thing. So obviously in the newborn sets and everything that you get, you have like the lowest flow level in the bottle teats. Then as they get bigger, they can actually have a faster flow basically for their milk so george went on about three and a half months he went on to size two teats which is like medium flow and only very recently literally the last few days of him being four months old he went on to the number three which is a fast flow so i would definitely say some size two and some size three teats are definitely essential because they start to get bored of like milk and like sucking because it's tough too much like hard work so they start to not want their milk which isn't actually they're not wanting their milk they just can't be bothered to suck from such a slow teat so faster teats equals eating more which is what we want another thing that i've been doing a lot more since he's been three to four months and will obviously carry on throughout his childhood and stuff but reading him books has now become a lot more interesting because he is seeing the colors he's engaging a lot more within the books and like touching the things especially those textured books they're really really good so the that's not my series i'll link a few down below they're so so good i've been absolutely loving hungry caterpillar you guys would have seen that in my vlogs again george absolutely loves it at the end there's a really good, colorful butterfly that he's just obsessed with he looks at it like oh my god this is the best thing in the world a few short boarded books i think are really really good idea for this age because obviously he doesn't know what i'm saying but he does like the sound of my voice and he likes the colors and it's definitely a nice way to start winding down before bed we love doing that before bedtime it's just the best way to end the routine i think okay so the last two things go hand in hand and they are a baby carrier which we absolutely love don't we George? George is obsessed with his. We've got the Ergo Baby 360 Omni and we love it. We absolutely love it. He can go front, he can go facing out, he can go on my back. Obviously not just yet, but when he's a lot older, he can go on the back and it goes up to like a ridiculous amount of kilograms. Honestly, it's going to be the best investment. It already is the best investment, even if he grew out of it like today. We've used it so, so much since he's been three months old that 
I just recommend it to anyone. But generally, any kind of carrier would be totally fine, I think. And the last thing is sort of something for the mums, but it's definitely also for the babies, is a baby-wearing coat. And the reason I say this is because I didn't know this existed, baby-wearing coat, what the hell. Obviously, at the moment, it is February, so it is cold. So having George in the baby carrier when we're out is one thing, but obviously having the ability to shut a coat over the top of him is perfect. I can't explain it very well, but I will put a little video of me wearing George with it. But very, very excitingly, on my 20 kit giveaway, there is a baby carrier and a baby coat that is exactly the same as mine that is included in the giveaway. Honestly, I'd enter the giveaway if I could. I want another one. They're so, so nice. I can wear it as a baby wearing coat. I can wear it as a normal coat. You can just unzip the panel, I guess, that goes at the front or the back, and you can just have it as a normal coat, so it will last the test of time. Genuinely, I'm wearing it every single time that I leave the house, whether I've got George in it or I haven't. I love it, so definitely check that out on the giveaway. If not, I'll link a couple of options down below where you can find it. But, I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. I'll link everything down below that I've talked about today. Like I said, if you haven't already, check out the new Born Essentials video, because there's loads of stuff on there that I still use today. But this was my three to four month baby must-haves, and I have have to say I'm impressed with this list because I have used every single one of these things pretty much daily since George has been this age and I'm still using it now so who knows these might be going on until the six month period but I will do a video on my five to six month must-haves as well because I feel like they're going to be a whole new list of things that I'm going to have to include in that list as well but I really hope you found this helpful guys give it a like if you like these kind of must-have videos because I do want to carry on doing them over the next few months but for now I love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one bye guys Bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken